Alright, I'm going And if you want to unmute yourself, if you're on the, you know how to do it if you're on free conference calling. If you're on the phone, star six will mute you, and star six will unmute you. Okay. Um, let's deal with, um, uh, let's go ahead and honor Durali first. And I'll take a quote, or I'll take a reading. Uh, anybody want to take that on? If not, I'll give a quote myself. Yes, Go ahead, Jeremy. Um, was there a particular place you wanted to read? Uh, no, just any 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 quote by the prophet. Mr. Moore, mm -hmm. would you grab my uh, well, there he is. I was just going to grab my circle seven. Mm -hmm. Good place to start. Uh, actually, how about the ministers who the ministers of the silent brotherhood of the East? Okay. Uh, just give us a couple lines and then let's give us. Um, and I particularly like um, chapter 8, but I'll just read a little part of it, as you said. Um, Chapter 8, the Council of the Seven of the World. It says, uh, it's, uh, The men are looking up for greater light. No longer do they care for God's seen out of wood. They seek for Allah, not made with hands. They see the beings of coming days and yet comprehend them not. The time is right. And we must fashion well these garments for the race. And let us make for men new garments of justice, mercy, and love, that they may hide their nakedness when shines the light of coming days. And verse 15, and Vidya Pradi said, O priests of all gone man, we saw a demon in the wild, and that came past the lamps, and they are broken up. And not a gleam of light has any priest for men. The night is dark. The heart of India calls for light. The priesthood cannot be reformed. It is already dead. Its greatest needs are graves and funeral chants. The new age calls for liberty, the kind that makes each man a priest enables him to go alone and lay his offerings on the shrine of Allah, Islam. I particularly like the last part of that. The times come where, um, and I will just quote it, but the gist of it is where every man and woman is their own priest. Islam. Uh, that's like really, really big. Wow. Uh, Uh, just bear with me, I'm going to have some challenges, obviously. Uh, we'll just keep jumping in and out. But what does that mean? I'll, I, I know that's something that I'm very, I, I have been transfixed by for many, many years. The idea that I don't need anybody between me and the source. I don't need a priest. I don't need an imam. I don't need a, 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 a cleric. I don't need bishop, nobody to stand between me and the, and the source because it slows the process down and it poisons the process. So uh, I, I particularly, particularly like that that part of it. Um, and, I, and I appreciate you for reading that. It's been an interesting few days for this more. Um, and if any, for, for those of you, and several of you have, have been uh, paying attention to the goings on on Facebook and social media, you would know that um, once again, um, I'm being referred to. And now people claim to have unquestionable proof of my agent's nest. So 
before I go into that, I want I, I, I don't know how deeply impacted this body is by that. Uh, I know that some people are. I've, I've gotten calls and uh, communications about that, so I want to start off. I want to start this meeting off and, and deal with that. Open the floor for people to talk to me about that if you want to, uh, uh, or, or, or ask me questions. So if it's an issue with any of you, you're talking to me, and I'll, I'll give you the truth about it. So um, I heard someone, I think it was Janaya. Yeah. Could you repeat it because you kind of broke up and I didn't get what you were saying. Okay, all right. I was saying that uh, in the last couple of days, there's been some chatter on Facebook about me and being an agent, a spokesman specifically for the Secret Service. Uh, there is a Mark Ritchie, or was a Mark Ritchie, who was an actual spokesman for the, for the Secret Service. For those of you who know me, you know that's the also... All right, I know I just dropped out. The agent trolls uh, believe they have a nugget. Why, and so, you know, let's deal with that if we need to tonight. If any of you have any questions about that, I'm going to open the mic up for you to talk to me about that. And uh, you can ask me whatever you want. Um, about okay. Um, it was comical to me at first. Uh, Tamara L. up in the area with uh, Dr. Nyla said on Facebook, it's not funny, you need to talk about it. So she was correct. Um, but, you know, I've been called an agent of all kinds since I've been away from more science. So that's nothing new to me. Um, but so so let's, let's deal with that right now. Because that, if, if, in my mind, it's... In my mind, it's not the 800 pounds of will in the room, but it might be a big issue or a big question for, for a great many of you, or some of you, or maybe two of you, I don't know. Uh, but I want to open the floor and talk about that, uh, since it's out, since, since there's so much chatter about it. So um, uh, if, if anybody has any questions about that, um, the, the, the floor is open. Fire away. Um, Dear Lord. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I, I can't help it, but um, yeah. I have a question. That's what I did at first, right? Okay. The great question I have is why are we going to make these duplices talk and we pay them attention? Remember, whatever we pay attention to is what we grow. And whatever we ignore dies. So we really, uh, you know, when, when all of this is said and done, um, Reality is the only people who are going to get on there and try to make scandal is because they don't like what's going on because they're not profiting from it. And they've been told, do it or else. Mm -hmm. So the fact is that anybody who would, you know, want to go and say, uh, you're an agent, uh, I will vouch that you're not. But I will vouch from sources that are not corruptible right. that you're not. You right. saw Tiger goes next, and then um, there's, there's a, say again, the, the sister, okay, good, the tiger goes first, and then I need to go back to tiger, go ahead, yeah, this, this, this is extremely short, uh, the, um, I'm political, so, you know, you have to ignore the people, right. um, I'll give you, I was in the 2008 campaign, about my first campaign, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a war leader from the Republican Party. And um, my own people, the only party, we took them out of my hand. So we're going to him. So they had people cut my throat and raise money and tell me to cut my throat. I said, what kind of that? And I was, a, I was a drug dealer all of a sudden. I was, a, uh, I was an alcoholic. Oh, yeah, everything was, so it's just, that's the truth. You ain't getting just ignored. My father told me, uh, he, oh, yes, he said, it, it takes, um, it takes, uh, a while, and then once you, once you, once you, they get the message, and then they can't do it anymore. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's kind of how I think. I'm, I'll, I'll tell you why I'm dealing with it in, in this context and why, why I put a video out there earlier today. Um, I, I was actually asked to do that by someone I deeply respect. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Okay. Are you complete, Tiger? 
good. I'm, I just wanted to make it go short because that was, uh, this would require a lot of discussion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm in. Islam. Islam. I am uh, agreeing with everything that everybody said. And my question to you is, what value is this putting into this group to really just talk about it and beat it to death? What is the value in that? There is very little value in that. Thank you exactly. for asking that very powerful question. The exactly. only reason I'm opening it up is because there may be someone who has a question. I, and I'm speaking just from my own personal experience. The people who have been on this conference, Okay, the ones who've been on this conflict long enough with me, you know that we're not, you know, and I prefer not to spend any more time on it than, than is necessary. I just wanted to make sure that there was nobody on this call who actually is concerned. I wanted to make sure that no one who's contributing to this conflict has any real concerns about that. I surely don't. Because I know I wasn't, I know I wasn't, and am not, and will never be a Secret Service agent. I am a spokesman. I was a spokesman for a city, um, and you know, during that time, I got the chance to be that close to a sitting president. But if no one has any real serious questions about that, we can honestly move on. Okay. Um, I got a call from I got a call from uh, from Taj yesterday morning because there were people making people who, who who were very concerned about that because the last spelling of the spelling of Richie was exactly the same as what my family name was all right or is so that that raised some alarm in the minds of some people I laughed at it, you know um, but you know I was asked to to address it and Todd says you need to address it because people have to have trust in the leaders of across the board, not just me, but leaders across the board. And in this case, this was dealing with me. So that's why I put a video out here. And I, I've been quiet throughout the summer, um, and, and that was intentional. So uh, this felt like a catalyst for me to start talking publicly again on uh, a great many things. And that was just one of the things that will go out, and I won't spend any time on that. Um, if you saw the video that I put out, the, not the live video, but if you saw the video that I put out later in the day when I finally get the thing to upload, uh, I spent just a, a few minutes talking about that issue, and then I moved on, and uh, that's, that's how I'm going to treat it. With, if you look on Facebook, and I agree with Jeremy, and I certainly agree with Ian, why are we spending any time on it? <clears throat> I'll say this, and then we can move on to, to the, the more important thing. Facebook and social media is a world, but it's not the real world, all right? There are, I can think of two people who were feeling that. I'm gonna say that again, I can think of two people who actually, now, two people don't constitute the real world. It, and it doesn't constitute social media, not really. Just two people. So, you know, I'm glad y'all don't have a lot of questions about it because it's, it's, it's a moot point to me. I mean, you, you, I mean, it's a moot point to me. All right, so um, let's let's go ahead and move on to, uh, to, to, to the more important things. To, to the more important things. All right. <clears throat> Can I interject for just a moment, please, about mm -hmm. that? Yeah. I don't really have a question about it because I already know who you are. <laughs> it's a little bit hilarious to me. But um, just with regard to the Moors, there's, a, there's several ways we can look at all of the stuff that's out there. Because there's, there's Albion's making videos about the Moors about the Moorish conflict, and they're not positive, not all of them are positive. There are many, many more of them being made. Whether they're saying something good or bad, they keep uttering the word more, and that's really what we need them to do, is keep talking about the Moors. I don't care what you're saying, because you're an Albion anyway. We don't care what you say, but 
at the beginning and end of the day, you can no longer act like we're not here. Because guess what? You keep talking about it. So now we've made our mark. I yield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I will say that when I was working in the in, in city government for Victor Henderson Ash, I was his press secretary, and he had a he had a say. All publicity is good publicity, and it didn't take me long to understand that. It didn't take me long to comprehend what exactly what he meant. As long as you were talking about him, you were talking about him. He was in your mind. So as long as they're talking about him, guess what? We're being made. We're, they're giving. We're, we're we're being given energy. It's like when you go to church, and, and people in the church they sing about Jesus, they pray to Jesus, they preach about Jesus. They go out in the streets and recruit people to the church by using the name of Jesus. We all know that the letter J is only 500 years old, and that letter J was created shortly before the Society of Jesus Christ was created, which is the Jesuits organization. So you have to ask yourself the question, why was the name Jesus created, and who created it, and why did they create it? So every time people speak the name of Jesus, they're literally giving their energy to the, to the Society of Jesus Christ or the Jesuits. That's why I don't pray that. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll speak that when I'm talking about it and giving these kinds of points, but I have, I have abandoned that name because it was created by the Jesuits. And every time you speak it, you give a little bit of your power to the Jesuits. The reverse of that is also true. Every time somebody talks about the Morris American Conference, whether it's good or bad, every time somebody utters the Appalachian Chalet Moore Bay, right, or Giramore, or Abasi, or Taj, or whomever, every time they utter the name, what are they doing? They're giving us a little piece of their energy. Let's take it and use it. I have a statement that I put out there, and I may post it again. Remember, when people give you negative energy, remember, it's just energy. Do something positive with it. Now, for me, for a press secretary, when you do that, it's like throwing honey at bears. Can y'all hear me? Because my internet's going out really bad. Um, can you hear me? We can hear you now. Okay, good, good. All right, thank you. Uh, so I'm 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 done with that, and um, I, and and yeah, I'm I'm done with that. Y'all heard from my baby sister. If you had any doubt, she been she been knowing me all her life. <laughs> Tonight, go ahead. Uh, yeah, that was good. Um, also, you were saying like uh, turning into positive energy. Um, Whenever you hear something negative, of course you turn into positive energy. So I don't look at things as, like people out there are saying things that are negative. It's one way of identifying who's who. Mm -hmm. By like according to the Bible where it says, you know, by the fruits you shall know them. So by them speaking out, they are actually identifying who they are. So it helps us, and you know, in a good way, a positive way. So um, with that, I, I yield. It, it does, because you shall know them by their fruit. And the, you heard the phrase, fruit of the lips, fruit of the lips. I can tell a lot about you by the way you talk. All right? Yeah. Uh, so so I, I, I completely concur with that. I, 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 I appreciate that. Okay. So... So let's, we're going to go ahead and move past that. One of the things that, uh, uh, that strikes me amidst this is uh, what I've been talking about is what's working and what's not working. What's working and what's not working. I want us to keep focusing on an honest look at that. All right? Now, uh, also amidst this, you know, questions about sharing that come up. So what's working and not and what's not working. Alright? We 
we have to sharpen our approaches and really get our heads around what's actually going on uh, in cases like Sharon's. This is this is a this is a, an uh, this is an amazing op skills and figure out it really really what's going on. We know it's not. We know that it's, it's, it's not a question of nationality, because she declares her nationality, boldly. We know it's not a question of personal jurisdiction. She declared that very boldly. What we want to do is rein in our energies, figure out these, um, I'm going to call it small, I'm calling it small things, not because it's insignificant, but because it's, it's 